Hello everybody and welcome to this exciting event where we will announce the top 20 teams who will proceed to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge 3. Over the past few months, all the teams worldwide have been working hard on their ultimate design for East Capital Urban Farm in Washington, D.C. Their challenge to come up with a concept that not only produces enough food in a sustainable manner, but also to have societal impact on the local neighborhood. But from all the teams that started and signed up for the challenge in October, to going to the top 20 teams that will proceed to the next round, that is of course a difficult challenge. And for that, we have an amazing selection committee who of one of us, uh, one of them will be joining us today. So I'm here in the studio with Dr. Jones, Dean of the College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability and Environmental Sciences. And I see him on the screen right beside me. Welcome. How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the introduction and congratulations to the teams for getting to this point. It's great to have you here. And of course, also the teams uh, that have been working there very hard for the past few months. I can imagine that you are all very nervous. But before we continue to the most exciting part for you, of course, the actual announcement of the top 20. First, we will hear some more uh, from Dr. Jones about his involvement in the challenge and also how the selection committee looked at all your interesting concepts. So first, of course, Dr. Jones. Uh, as I mentioned, you are the Dean of Causes, an important partner of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge 3. Why is being involved in the Urban Greenhouse Challenge so important to you? Thank you, Maud. Uh, UDC, the University of the District of Columbia, is the nation's capital, the United States of America. Um, it's only public university, and it's only land-grant university, and it's only historically black college and university uh, that has those three designations. And so as a part of that, we have as a part of our mission to actually reach out into the public and to our communities to make an impact on their lives. Our college established East Capital Urban Farm in Ward 7, where there is significant food apartheid. And it is a community-based project, demonstration project, to show how individuals in urban environments can produce nutritious food and create areas for residents to oversee their personal garden plots and to actually improve their e economic prosperity. It is a pleasure to support the Urban Greenhouse Challenge number three because each of the international teams is bringing in abundance of new ideas on how to address year-round sustainable food production, provide an attractive and significant landmark for the community, and impact social equity and inclusion. Thank you very much. And it sounds very interesting what you're all working on with CASAS. So as I mentioned already, you are one of the members of the selection committee, uh, so you were involved in selecting the top 20 teams. Uh, was it difficult for you? That's a, that's a very good question, Maud. Before we get started with the program, I'd like to recognize the significant role that the Ward 7 community played in the project. Um, and we also will include the Deanwood community, which is part of Ward 7. Commissioner Holmes, who was part of this project, leads the Advisory Neighborhood Council of Ward 7. And Mrs. Sanders is the president of the Deanwood Civic Association. Both helped to shape the competition and have represented the community view for the challenge. The three of us served as jurors for milestone number one. In terms of difficulty, all the teams did a great job and their work is greatly appreciated by Commissioner Holmes, Ms. Sanders, and me. We paid attention to the competition objectives and we showed how each team uh, addressed the design concepts of inclusive design that were shared during the December webinar. We were also keenly aware of each business model proposed. The community leadership enjoyed seeing a farm table, healthy restaurant, farm to table, healthy restaurant, and a production facility that was welcoming. And the community gave an interesting focus on unique architectural elements. The visual graphics were extremely important to our understanding the proposals, and we greatly appreciated seeing the diversity of the images. Thank you. I can imagine that uh, actually evaluating all the concepts is actually quite a fun thing to do, seeing all the innovative ideas from students all over the world. 
Um, so I am curious, what positively um, impacted you? What, did you? what stood out of all the uh, concepts that you looked at? Yes, there were great projects and we were all amazed and astounded at the great work that is going on all around the world and really the emphasis on this particular project in Washington, D.C. We were amazed by the many innovative ideas brought forth. There were several business models and a few included an expanded network with other regional farms and that's very important for us. Mobile and fixed grocery stores and the use of technology was also proposed, along with the addition of retail and farm-to-table restaurant concepts. These are all appreciated ideas because they're important to the District of Columbia and the Ward 7 community. We also appreciated that there are many affordable concepts and ones that can be transferred to global farming prototypes in facilities potentially using indigenous materials. Thank you very much uh, for your clear answer. And of course, we all know the Urban Greenhouse Challenge as being a very interdisciplinary challenge. Uh, so there are a lot of aspects you need to look at when evaluating all the projects. So what did you all focus on when evaluating the entries? That's a great question, Maud. As you can see on the slide on the screen, we scored the teams in four categories. The first three categories were worth 10 points and the last category was worth five points for a total of 35 categories. We started by grouping the submissions into best, good, and least competitive. We reviewed the submissions multiple times and came to a joint decision on the top three proposals and the bottom four proposals. Well, thank you very much for uh, shortly sharing uh, your ideas and also how you looked at all the concepts that the students handed in. But unfortunately, not all the teams can proceed to the next round of the challenge. Um, so I'd say let's just dive right in and uh, let's not keep all the students waiting any longer. So first, we will start with three teams and discuss their concepts. So team, let us design. Team AMAs, AMS, Caterpillars, and team Mouseman Studio, we are here, uh, we have you on our screen right now. Dr. Jones, can you tell us something about their concepts? Yes, thank you. First of all, let me say you all did a wonderful job. Your projects are excellent, your ideas, your concepts are excellent, but we had to choose um, top teams. Team Let Us Design. As a selection committee, we were very impressed by your project, the Mosaic Garden. You came up with a highly developed proposal that was well received by community leaders. Your concept is scalable locally and globally. Your Minecraft like ideas really speaks to the imagination and has high potential for social impact. We very much appreciated your visuals as well as storytelling. You also thought your business model through and it was a model for other projects around the world. Job well done. And then the second team, I think the AMS Caterpillars. Can you share something about their concept as well? Yes, absolutely. Team AMS Caterpillars, also you, you did a wonderful job. Your presentation was excellent. Your work was excellent. Uh, team AMS Caterpillars, as a selection committee, we were very impressed by your idea to create a community-centered food ecosystem through a butterfly living lab process. Your design concept creates a sense of place with the community and also enhances community engagement. The attractive butterfly roof and glass welcome center is beautiful and interesting and a wonderful addition to the community. We appreciate your community activated business model and ideas for network networking. This is a highly developed concept with the potential for significant social impact. Thank you for a job well done. Well, it indeed sounds like uh, they did a good job as well. And lastly, on the screen here, we have Team Mouseman Studio. Thank you. And once again, Team Mouseman, congratulations on your effort. You did a wonderful job as well. Team Mouseman Studios, the selection committee was very impressed and highly impressed with your de highly developed proposal that was well received by the community leadership team. Your production facility appears to 
be a Zaha Hadid inspired design. Very beautiful statement piece, a very beautiful statement piece that stands out. One can't help but wonder what is happening in the structure. You just want to go into it and it welcomes people. The proposal screens progress, demonstrates inclusive design, has high social impact or high potential for social impact, and it appears to be a little over budget, but it was a really great design. And let me say thank you to the top three teams on behalf of the selection committee. We also want to mention there are other proposals with great innovative ideas. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. Jones, for sharing your ideas and uh, congratulations to the three teams that are on the screen here right now uh, because uh, I think all the feedback that the selection committee just gave you uh, is very nice to have and a uh, good job and good luck with the uh, following uh, months. So now we know which three teams um, left most a, a nice impression on the selection committee but of course we have many more teams to come. So on the screen right now we have following teams Teams G Touch Plus, Teams IUA CAS, Team USC Stack, Team AgroLab UniAndes, Team Upward, Team Frucolas, Team Green Eyes, and Team Mirror. And now we will go one by one to each of you and review whether you made it to the next round. So, first, Team G Touch Plus. Congratulations, Sorry. you made it to the next round. Then, Team IUA Cass. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but congratulations, you also made it to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Team USC Stack, unfortunately, we do not have one of your representatives in the event right now, but congratulations, you also made it to the next round. Then Team AgroLab UniAndes. Also to you, congratulations and good luck with the next round of the challenge. Team Upward. Also to you, congratulations and you uh, will proceed to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Team Frucolas. I'm starting to repeat myself, but also to you, congratulations on making it to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Then the next team, Green Eyes. Also, unfortunately, we do not have a representative in the event right now, but they also made it to the next round, so congratulations. And then the last team that we have on the screen right now is Team Mirror. Also to you, congratulations. I see very happy faces. We like to see that here. And good luck with uh, the next uh, months of work for the Greenhouse Challenge. Then we have another round of revealing which teams made it to the top 20. So we have seven new teams in the screen right now. And we will start with teams and name them one by one and again review whether they made it to the next round. The first one is Urban Farming Studio. Of them I see we also have an empty screen so unfortunately no representative. But congratulations you made it to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. And it's starting to get more exciting because we're coming closer to fitting the top 20 already. Team Planethical Farming. Congratulations, you made it to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Team Be Rooted. You also made it to the next round. Congratulations. And another time I see some happy faces. That's very nice to see. And good luck with uh, the coming months. Team Move Forward. Well, you can also uh, move forward with your concept because you are going through the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Congratulations. Team ReFarm, congratulations, you also made it to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Then we have Team The Hive, 
Congratulations, you made it to the next round of the Urban Green House Challenge. Good luck. And then the last one we have on the screen right now is Team Roads to Nature. Congratulations, you made it to the next round. So now we have four teams left, but only two places to fill the top 20 that will proceed to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. And for those four teams, they are up for a big challenge. Because like I said, two of them we will have to say goodbye to today, unfortunately. So Dr. Jones, I again invite you to share your ideas and can you tell us a little bit about these four teams that we have and who will proceed to the next round? Yes, I will be happy to and congratulations to everyone for your selection. Thank you to the top three teams on behalf of the selection committee. We also want to mention there are other proposals with innovative ideas. There is G-Touch Plus, which is an online platform, uh, and multi-building and community school uh, redesign. Uh, there was a community-based urban farm as part of this project that serves as a sustainable food producer and employment training base and an educational park um, entitled the Oasis by the Action Team. There was an automated farming operation layered with infrastructure and platforms and integrated network and an integrated networked mobile market grocery business. These are very innovative ideas and congratulations on getting to this point of the process. Would, would you like me to continue? And Yes, please. Okay. So let's start with, I think, team The Source. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I think you start with the Plucket, actually. Yes, so yes. You Thank you. Yes, okay. And just wanted to be sure I was uh, following the protocols here, so thank you. Um, so, Team Pluckett, the selection committee was impressed by your idea to add a, add a rooftop garden above existing schools, and we agree with this idea. However, your proposal, a future for the future, was limited to a rooftop garden above a DC charter school in Ward 7. The idea is currently being implemented in Ward 7. Unfortunately, your proposal did not address the competition's specified site, offer a business model, or enhance social impact beyond the school setting. Therefore, it was judged to be in the bottom of the submitted proposals. The selection committee recommends that your team consider the competition objectives, inclusive design guidance provided at the webinar, and identify a business model. Teams should work to understand the problem and revise the proposal to provide a cost-effective and appealing approach. Thank you for your submission. Thank you for sharing the feedback. Then the next team. Yes, the next team was Team Anthea. Team Anthea, the selection committee was most impressed by your addition of a farm-to-table restaurant concept. A restaurant, commercial space, and affordable housing were well received by community leadership. Unfortunately, the proposal was underdeveloped and the site plan and building footprint did not provide enough information to address the competition objectives. We recommend that your team consider the competition objectives. Wait a minute, let me really make sure I'm reading the correct. Yes, consider the competition objectives inclusive design guidance provided at the December webinar and identify a business model. We ask that you would work to understand the problem and revise your proposal to um, provide a cost-effective and appealing approach. Thank you for your submission. Also, thanks again for sharing your feedback to this team. The third of the ones we have on the screen right now. Okay. Team Agriculture, thank you for your submission. The selection committee was impressed by your concept to provide a vertical aquaponic, aquaponics facility, which consists of farming, processing, and storage, aquaculture, irrigation treatment, classrooms, community center, and an administrative office. Unfortunately, this was an underdeveloped proposal and the image of the Gardens of Babylon is a poor fit for the community due to sustainability concerns. The selection committee recommends that your team consider the competition objectives, inclusive design guidance, 
provided at the webinar and identify business model. Teams should work together to understand the problem and revise the proposal to provide a cost effective and appealing approach. Thank you for your submission. Thanks again, Dr. Jones. And then moving on to the last of the four teams we have in the screen right now. What uh, did the selection committee think of that team? Thank you. Team 55 or five, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but the selection committee was impressed by your proposal for a production facility that has a style to it that is very different than that of DC architecture. It is nice to see the inspirational building that speak to the future, but it really doesn't fit the context. Unfortunately, there is not enough information in the proposal to evaluate how your submission meets the competition's criteria. The selection committee recommends that your team consider the competition objectives, inclusive design guidance provided at the webinar, and identify a business model. Teams should work together to understand the problem and revise the proposal to provide a cost-effective solution and appealing approach. Thank you for your submission. Thank you very much, Dr. Jones, again, for sharing your feedback. Now, all the four teams have heard what they can work on if they proceed to the next round of the challenge. So for you now, the moment to share which of these teams will complete the top 20 and make it to the next round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. First of all, I want to thank all teams for submitting proposals that address this important question of our times, how to ensure that all individuals have access to nutritious food and enhance inclusive environments that help all people to live in healthy communities and thrive locally and globally. The two teams that are not moving forward are Pluckett and Anthea. I'm very sorry, teams Pluckett and Anthea. Thank you for all your hard work and I hope you enjoyed the process up until this point. And congratulations, of course, to team Agriculture and the sources. And uh, good luck. I think you have some valuable feedback that you can uh, work on for the coming months for the second milestone. And then we now know that 20 teams that made it to the second round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Congratulations to all of the teams. And I suggest let's grab, all, uh, grab your drinks. I think you have them already beside you. And let's toast to the second round of the Urban Greenhouse Challenge. Dr. Jones. Would you like to make this toast? On behalf of UDC, Commissioner Holmes, Ms. Sanders, and the entire Wageningen University and Research Urban Greenhouse Challenge Number Three leadership and partners, I would like to congratulate all of the teams for their ideas and their important efforts. We look forward to receiving milestone number two proposals, and we wish you the best as you move forward in the competition. UDC stands by you to assist with our assigned coaches, led by Eric Harris and Dr. Anna Franz, and as always, we are here to answer your questions. Again, job well done and a toast to you. Yes, congratulations to all the teams. I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this announcement event that we have, and uh, I wish you all good luck for the coming months and uh, working up until your second milestone report. We, of course, are hungry for more, so we look forward to seeing more and of this, uh, these at the next event and of course also for the 20 teams we all will see you in two weeks at the digital site event so we're looking forward to that and lastly of course thank you dr jones for sharing all your ideas on behalf of the selection committee so thank you again and have a nice day